Hello children. Hope you all are good. So today we are going to study lesson number two, your reader book, Tenali meets Baba. So be ready with your books, notebooks and pencil. So first of all, I am going to give a brief description about the chapter Tenali meets Baba. When King Krishna Dev Raya ruled in Vijayanagar, Baba ruled Delhi. Baba wanted to meet Tenali Raman as he heard a great deal about Tenali's quick wit. Baba sent his messenger to King Krishnadev Raya's court to invite Tenali Raman. Baba's messenger arrived at Krishnadev Raya's court. The king agreed Tenali to meet Baba. He wanted to test Tenali's wit, so he ordered his courtiers not to laugh at Tenali's jokes. Next day, Tenali Raman arrived Baba's court. As he started to narrate one of his jokes, the courtiers cut him off by yawning to feel asleep. Every day, courtiers responded the same way. In this story, we will read how Tenali proved his wit. Children, before starting the chapter, you just see these word meanings. Grave apprehensive means became anxious. Prove your metal, prove your worth. Antics, funny behavior. Something was amiss, something was wrong. Keeping a somber face, looking serious. Bademia, dear old man. Jhapana, your highness. Reaps a rich harvest, brings great reward. Pithy utterances. Words that are short and full of meaning. Now children, I am going to read the chapter. Listen carefully. The tales related to Tenali Raman's intelligence and wit had reached far and wide. So they also reached the Mughal court in Delhi where Emperor Baba ruled. Hearing about Tenali Raman, Baba wished to meet him and sent a messenger. When Baba's messenger reached Vijayanagar, Raja Krishnadev Rai, the ruler, grew apprehensive. He thought that the Mughal emperor had sent his messenger to find an excuse to attack his kingdom. The Raja was relieved when the messenger said, Our emperor wants to meet Tenali Raman. Maharaj, please send him with me to the Delhi court. The Raja agreed. He said, Tenali, I order you to go with this messenger to the Mughal court and prove your mettle. Remember, the honor of our kingdom is in your hands. If you impress the emperor and get a reward from him, I promise to give you 10,000 gold coins. Now, Raja Krishna Dev Rai agreed to send Tenali to Baba's court. But he asked Tenali that... The honor of their kingdom is now in Tenali's hands. Tenali replied, I will not let you down, your majesty. The next day, Tenali left with the messenger. When Baba heard that Tenali Raman had arrived, he said to his courtiers, You all know he is a very witty man. However, if I find anyone laughing at his jokes, that person shall be punished. At the royal court, Tenali tried many antics, but no one smiled. Why they did not smile? Because Baba had ordered them not to smile. He said many amusing, witty and wise things, but to no effect. Fifteen days passed by, but all his efforts to make people laugh failed. Now, 15 days he kept on trying to make people laugh, but he was not able to do so. Tenali understood that something was amiss. So he thought there is something wrong. He realized that the Mughal courtiers were deliberately keeping a somber face. Tenali knew that defeat would mean losing prestige and honor for Vijayanagar as well as his own position there. So he thought of a plan. Now Tenali thought if he will fail, it means that he is go going to lose the prestige and honor for 
विजयनगर सो ही थॉट ऑफ ए प्लान हैव टू मेक ऑल ऑफ देम लव बाबर वॉज इन द हैबिट ऑफ गोइंग फॉर अ राइड ऑन हिज हॉर्स एवरी मॉर्निंग ही वुड बी अकम्पनीड बाई टू ऑफ हिज मिनिस्टर्स द मिनिस्टर्स जॉब वॉज टू कैरी पाउच ऑफ गोल्ड कॉइन्स टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट टू द पुअर ऑन द इंस्ट्रक्शंस ऑफ द किंग न तेनाली फाउंड दैट बाबर इज हैविंग ए हैबिट एंड दैट वॉज Every morning he used to go on his horse, accompanied by two of his ministers, and he used to distribute the gold coins among the people. One day, Tenali disguised disguise means change the appearance himself as an old labourer with a spade on his shoulder and a mango sapling in his hand. Having surveyed Babur's route closely, Tenali found a spot by the Yamuna where he knew Babur would see him. When Tenali spotted Babur approaching, he began to dig the ground. Babur was surprised to see an old man with a white beard planting a mango sapling. He couldn't help asking, "Bade miya, what are you doing?" जहाँ पर ना आई एम प्लांटिंग अ मैंगो सेपलिंग रिप्लाइड तेनाली रमन न वन डे तेनाली डिस्काइड हिम सेल्फ एज एन ओल्ड मैन एंड ही वेंट टू वॉच बाबर वेर ही इज गोइंग देन ही फाउंड अ स्पॉट बाई यमुना वेर ही न्यू बाबर वुड सी हिम एंड ही स्टार्टेड प्लांटिंग अ मैंगो सेपलिंग देअ But bade mia baba said you appear quite old even if this sapling takes root grows and bears fruit what would you gain surely won't be alive no uh, baba asked him that you are very old so why are you planting this sapling because it takes a few years to grow the plant and then give fruits i don't think that you would be alive to have the fruits I am not planting it for my own sake, जहाँ पर ना but for others. I enjoyed the fruits of the trees planted by my father, and now this tree will bear fruit for those who live after me. And what was the reply of Tenali Raman, who was disguised as an old man? He said that he is not planting the uh, sapling for himself, but for the next generations to come. That will be my reward. I like your. idea baba responded admiringly you are a kind man who cares for others take these coins and plant more trees the emperor asked his minister to give the old man a pouch containing gold coins so baba was very impressed by the uh, with the answer that the old man has given and he said i am very happy with you and he asked his ministers to give old man a pouch containing gold coins accepting the gold the old man bowed gratefully and said may god grant the emperor the long life you see normally people get fruit many years after planting a tree but i got it immediately it shows the consideration for others definitely reaps a rich harvest so after accepting the gold the old man said that it is good if we help others we will definitely get the reward and see uh, i have got the reward before the fruits the before the plant has given the fruits so we should help or we should always think about helping others Pleased by the old man's remark, Babur gave him another bag of coins. Now, when he heard the answer, the remarks of the old man, he was so happy that he gave him one more gold coin. Again, the old man said, "You have really made this old man happy. While this tree, when mature, will bear fruit only once a year, you have rewarded me twice already." Now, again, showing his wit, the old man said. Thank you, Your Majesty. You have given me reward two times. But this tree, when it will grow, it will become mature. It will give fruit once in a year only. But I have got the reward 
twice from you. Baba replied, Well said. Again you deserve a reward. Baba was so happy. The third time again he asked. He said that he is going to give you that old man reward. And Tenali received a third bag of coins. Alarmed, one of the ministers advised Baba, Your Highness, this old man appears to be quite wise. Let us move ahead before his pity utterances force you empty. Your treasury right here. Baba smiled and began to write away. Then the old man said, Hazur, just cast a glance at me once again. So saying, Tenali removed his disguise and said, I am your humble servant, Tenali Raman. Now when uh, Baba gave gold coins to the old man third time, his minister was worried. And then he requested Baba to move from there. As he said, the old man is very wise and you are going to give him all his treasure here today. So uh, Baba smiled and then he began to ride away. Then Tenali removed his disguise and said that he is his humble servant. Realizing that he had been thoroughly fooled, Baba burst out laughing. I am not at all sorry for having rewarded you. Tenali Raman, you deserve it. You are very bit as intelligent and wise as I had heard. Now when Baba realized that he had been fooled, so he started laughing. He said, I am happy that I have given you reward because you really deserve it. Baba took Tenali to his palace and showed him with gifts. When Raja Krishna Dev Rai heard about Tenali Raman's triumph, means triumph means victory, he too rewarded him with gold and property and Tenali Raman became even dearer to the Raja's heart. In so in this way children Tenali brought victory for victory as well as honor for his kingdom and for himself also. So so dear children, Tenali Raman showed us all how if you can't prove your wit once, it does not mean you cannot prove it again. We should keep on trying till we succeed. Uh, now children, uh, move to page number 20, exercise D, fill in the blanks with words from the box. You will do this question in the book only. First, Tenali Raman was famous for his intelligence. The princess said to the shepherd, if you bring me the singing flower, I will reward you with five bags of gold. Number three, it was a great triumph for Australia when they lifted the Cricket World Cup in 2015. Apurva has not yet returned my book. Every time I ask her, she has a Excuse. Suniti is a successful and famous actor, but she is as humble as ever. Aman was disguised as a policeman in the school concert. Now, exercise E children, the words in capitals are from the story. Circle the correct antonym, means opposite for each. Number one, a miss, perfect. Attack, defend. Honor, insult. Witty, stupid. Gain, lose. Rich, needy. Defeat, triumph. Humble, arrogant. Rewarded, punished. Admire, dislike. Amusing, boring. Pleased, annoyed. So dear children, today you do these two exercises, revise them, learn the chapter and rest of the exercises we will do in the next video. Till then, goodbye.